Match underway, drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go! And on the Red Alliance, we see Roador start by dropping off the cone they have with them. They make their way around the charging station and back with a cube in hand. It looks like they get that in place in the upper row as well. And they make it onto their charging station, trying to get it level by the end of Autonomous, which it looks like they do just manage. And on Blue Alliance, meanwhile, they had three cubes scored in the upper row in Autonomous. And it is Wild Hats who finished Docked and Engage for them. And it is Wild Hats who are now across field at the Blue Alliance loading zone and already on their way back with a cone. Red Alliance has started to tell you up with the lead, but Blue is on the hunt to try and make that back up. Wild Hats losing their hold of the cone they brought back with them, not making it into the upper row, but it is still there, able to be scored in the bottom row. And they are back with another to give it another shot. And on the Red Alliance, meanwhile, we see 2035, Robo Rock and Bus. They are grabbing a cube, and their alliance partners, Robodors, also at their loading zone, coming back with a cone. And both of them lining up at their grid, starting to fill it out. Robodors reaching for the upper row and completing a link there, while their alliance partners are working on filling out those hybrid nodes in the bottom row. And the Red Alliance is hanging on to their lead for the time being, but it is growing narrower with the efforts of the Blue Alliance. Prepatech Nautilus nudging one more cube into place in the bottom row, completing two links there in the bottom row. And their alliance partners, Wild Hats, almost getting a little bit tangled up with Crystal Wing Robotics, but now they're back on their way with a cone ready to be placed in the upper row. And we have 16 points separating our alliances with just under a minute to go. Red Alliance adding one more cone to the upper row, courtesy of Robodors. And it looks like they now have all the links necessary to earn an additional ranking point, and they're not done just yet. Silver Hawks adding one more cube, completing the bottom row for the Blue Alliance and their alliance partners coming back to add some more. And we now have 30 seconds left. Back on Blue Alliance, Wild Hats dropping one more cone in the upper row and still racing back to the loading zone, trying to get one more cycle finished before the match is through. 20 seconds left, and on Red Alliance, we have Robo Rockin' Bots and Silver Hawks docked and engaged for the time being on the charging station. It's 10 seconds left, Blue trying to get on their own having to make sure that they're not facing the steep side of it. But now with five seconds left, we get Crescent Ring and Prepatech Nautilus. And it looks like they do manage to get that charging station level, earning two robots also docked and engaged for blue. So that match 148 to 114. Red Alliance earning four ranking points in total, and Blue Alliance coming away with two.